Hello and welcome. I'm Mark Hadfield, CTO of Alatura Systems. Today I'm here to demonstrate the Momomics Innovation Network. First, let's state the problem we're addressing. Knowledge-centered organizations are overwhelmed with information from many sources, both internal and external. How can we find relevant knowledge? How to best leverage experts across your organization? And how to share knowledge in a simple way? We've created Momomics to join people, databases, and documents into a cohesive network of information where it's easy to search, navigate, contribute knowledge, and share knowledge. We've done this by creating a layer on top of your data resources. This layer contains data objects that we call memes that link to each other and into the source data resources. These links are created by text mining, expert contributions, existing database structures, and semantic technology that can associate like with like. Momomics consists of several integrated software components. The Alatura Foundry, which is a set of text mining tools. KHarmony Semantic Database, which is very efficient at searching linked information and providing relevant results. The ASAPI Web Service, which allows access to this collection of software over a network. And the Momomics uh, interface itself, which we'll be demonstrating today, primarily using life sciences data. We will demonstrate both a web application and a graph visualization tool. Here we see the home page of the Momomix web application. In the center area, there's a list of events that have occurred across our network. And here on the left, we see our memory, which is our storage of objects that we're interested in, and a team of users and other objects that have been shared across our team. We're going to perform a search for the disease of breast cancer. Here I see our search results of various types of breast cancer. I'm going to take this first object and drag and drop it into our clipboard, which is a temporary area for copying and pasting. I can also right click on our meme and show the contextual menu, allowing me to drill into the details of this particular data object. I'm going to click on the connections for this data object of breast cancer. And here I see a list of information connected to breast cancer. I'm going to select and filter just for the genes that have been associated with it. I'm going to grab this one here, RID51. I'll also drag, drag and drop that over into my clipboard. And I'm going to go into the details of this gene. Here I see the details. And I'm going to go into the relationships for information that has been extracted through text mining. Here I see a list of facts. I'm going to filter and select this first fact on the list. Here I see that BRCA2 has a bind relationship to RID51. This information comes through text mining and comes from this sentence here below where it mentions RID51 is bound by BRCA2. Now I'm going to transition to our graph visualization tool. Note that these memes here are in our clipboard, which are shared across applications. I'm going to put these two data objects onto my network. These represent Berenger Ingelheim and the company Genentech. I'm going to select them both and then expand the connections of these organizations. Here I see a large graph of information has formed. I'm going to adjust the layout of the data. 
and I see that there's two primary graphs, one for Behringer Ingelheim and the other for Genentech, but they are connected by this bridge here in the middle. This might be interesting, so I'm going to zoom in on this part of the graph. And I see that these two graphs are connected by rheumatoid arthritis because Genentech has the drug that treats rheumatoid arthritis, and Behringer Ingelheim also has a drug that treats rheumatoid arthritis. So I can see throughout this very large graph, interesting information can be found very quickly. Let's suppose this disease of rheumatoid arthritis was an area of interest. We can add this to our clipboard and switch back to the web application. Now we see that rheumatoid arthritis has been added to our clipboard. We can share this information with our teams by just dragging and dropping. I can add a notation to this meme. Which will be shared across my teams. I can also use our memes as a key to doing searches. Here I'm going to search for a recent news about rheumatoid arthritis. If I found this article of interest, I can share it with my teams. I'm going to drag and drop this into my clipboard. And now I'm going to add it to my teams. Inside this data object is not only the link to the original article and title, but also the text of the article, which can be used for text mining. And some of this information that's been text mined is available here. For example, this article is about rheumatoid arthritis. I can track the most recent events in my network on my home page, where I see events such as this article has been added to my team, and my annotation that I just entered. Thank you for your interest in Alatora and the Momomix Innovation Network application.